reduce the following ratios in their simplest forms. Now, as I told you in the previous video, in order to reduce a ratio into its simplest form, we need to simplify the various numbers or quantities or ratios which are given to such a state that the ultimately the HCF of two comparables is one right now having looking at the first one what do we have we have one upon five is to one upon twenty right now if you take the LCM of these two numbers five and twenty what do you get it's twenty only actually right the idea is basically can we convert these fractions into whole numbers right because we know that if we multiply or divide a particular fraction by a same number, the relative quantity will not change. So we can write 1 upon 5 as 1 upon 5 into 20, okay? And 1 upon 20 into 20. We multiply both these numbers by the same quantity. When we do that, this 5 will knock off this 20 to give 4. 4 times 1 gives us 4. This 20 will knock off this 20 to give 1. 1 times 1 gives us 1. Or, in other words, this can be written as 4 is to 1. Now, given that we already have 1 as one of the comparables, it cannot be simplified further. And hence, this is the simplest form of the ratio which can be written. So in case of fractions, what we try to do is we try to convert these fractions into whole numbers. Let's see the second one. In second one, what do we have? We have 3.5 is to 10.5. Now, can we try and kind of convert these numbers into whole numbers again, just like we did over here? In order to remove decimals, we know that there is only one place decimal here and one place decimal here. So can we multiply both of them by 10? So we multiply 3.5 into 10 to get 35. We multiply 10.5 by 10 to get 105. Right? So 3.5 is to 10.5 can also be written as 35 is to 105. Right? Or you simply write this as 35 divided by 105. Now, if you see this, I mean, if you divide 135 by 30, 105 by 35, actually you will get 3. 105 divided by 35, 35 into 3, 3 times 5 gives you 15, so 5, 1 carry, 3 times 3 gives you 9 plus 1, 10. Right? So can we just divide both these numbers by 35? 35 happens to be the HCF of these two numbers. Since we are dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 35, okay, this first term is also known as antecedent, just in case, you know, you are using it. And the second term is known as consequent. So 35 30 divided by 35 gives you 1, 105 divided by 35 gives you 3. So 1 upon 3 or 1 is to 3. Right? Again, as I said, given that one of the ratios is 1, it cannot be reduced any further. The next one, 1 meter to 70 centimeter. Please note that what we have here is 1, what we have here is centimeter. Sorry, what we have here is meter and what we have here is centimeter. Now, in order to compute ratios, I also told you earlier, that the units have to be the same. So if one of the units is meter, the other one is centimeter, then we can convert both of them into common ones. So you convert either meter into centimeter or you convert centimeter into meter. Right? We'll use this one. So we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So we write this as 100 centimeter is to 70 
centimeter, right? Or simply 100 upon 70. This gets knocked off, this gets knocked off, right? So we get 10 upon 7 or 10 is to 7. I now did this knocking off myself, otherwise what you can also do is, just like we did here, you can divide both the antecedent and the consequent or let's say the numerator and the denominator by 10. So you get 10 is to 7. Right? Let us see one more here. Basically this will kind of complete various types of issues that you might be getting. One week to 35 hours. Now we know one week, so here we have week, here we have hours. We know one week is equal to seven days, okay, right? And one day is equal to 24 hours, right? So therefore, one week can also be written as seven into 24 hours, right? Or you can write this as 140, sorry. 7 times 4 is 28, 8, 2 carry. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2, 16. 168 hours is to 35 hours. Now both the quantities are into same units. So we can do the comparison. So we write this as 168 upon 35. Now we know 35 is divisible by 7, right? And 168 is also divisible by 7. So we divide both of them by 7. 168 divided by 7 will give you 24 simply because 168 is equal to 24 into 7. And 35 divided by 7 will give you 5. So this is basically the simplest form of 1 week to 35 hours. You can do similar problems across wherever you are because these are the kinds of problems that you will normally have in ratios and proportion.